Hello viewers. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to Elimu TV, a station where you watch and learn. I am your tutor, Sarah Wamaitha. Today we are going through CRE Form 2, Lesson 21. Our topic is Jesus' works of compassion. And our subtopic today is the forgiveness of the sinful woman. Welcome. So we are going to we first look at the, our lesson objectives. What is accepted? is expected of the learner by the end of the lesson. So by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to describe the forgiveness of the sinful woman. We look at the forgiveness of the sinful woman. We find this in Luke chapter 7, verse 36 to 50. So we see Jesus was invited by one of the Pharisees called Simon to his house to dine with him. In that city, there was a sinful woman. She went to the house of Simon where, when she learned that Jesus was in the Pharisee's house. The woman brought with her an arabster jar full of perfumes. She stood behind Jesus. She was weeping and She was weeping as she washed Je his, Jesus' feet with her tears, wiped them with her hair, and anointed them with very expensive oil. She even kissed Jesus' feet. So when Simon, the host, saw this, he said, to himself, is, if this man was a prophet, he would know who this woman is, who is touching him. So the Pharisee in his mind wanted Jesus not to, to associate with that w sinful woman. And Jesus knew Simon's fetus thought, Simon's thought, Simon the Pharisee, sorry. So Simon was not happy on seeing this. Jesus told Simon a parable of a man who forgave two people who owed him money. One owed him 500 shillings and the other one owed him 50. Jesus asked who, which of the two debtors would love him most? The one with 500 or the one with 50? Simon said, the one that was forgiven much. So Jesus then told Simon that when he came to his house, he did not give him water for his feet, neither did he welcome Jesus with a kiss, nor provide him with olive oil. But the woman washed his feet with tears and wiped them with her hair. She also kissed his feet. Jesus told the people that her sins being many are forgiven for she loved much. And then Jesus turned to the woman and told her, your sins are forgiven because your, your faith has healed you. Go and sin, go and have peace. The people who were eating with Jesus murmured and they wondered, who is this Jesus who forgives sins? And that is the forgiveness of the sinful woman. As Christians, what lesson have we learned from the forgiveness of the sinful woman? So Christians should associate with sinners with an intention of winning them into Christ. When you associate with these sinners, they, they, those who sin, like adulterers, prostitutes, thieves because when they see you have good behaviors they admire them and they get we get a way of winning them into christ and them having a chance to know christ more so it's good to associate with the sinners and not discriminate them christians should realize the importance of and need for repentance in their faith it's good to repent and ask for forgiveness in their lives because God forgives our sins. 
faith in Jesus is necessary. Christians should have faith in God because Jesus forgives those who trust him. God helps those who believe in him. The woman's great love for Jesus led to her being forgiven of her sins. So those are the three lessons we have learned. So we have come to the end of our lesson and I leave you with the following question. You describe the forgiveness of the sinful woman. On to our references, you can refer to secondary CRE student book 2, KLB 3rd edition. Thank you for joining us for this and more. You may contact us through our SMS number, which is on the screen. You can also find us on YouTube, Elimu TV, on Facebook, Elimu TV, and on Twitter at Elimu TV underscore KE. See you next time.